My dad's friend says, hey, you know, that wrestle when they put that sleeper on you, does that shit really, excuse me, can I oh, tell you me to use oh, bad right. language? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? What are you doing push-ups for? I said, I'm getting warmed up for the match. That ain't the way you warm up for a match, you stupid little bastard. You know, they knock and say, oh, that's a bunch of phony bullshit. You know what, lace your boots up, asshole, and get in that ring every night like I did, year after year. And you know, and follow these guys. These are some tough assholes out here. So me and Flair, we come out of this army base after the match, and, the, and these guys are giving us hell. And there's a bunch of crowd around us, but they're going, Lincoln and Cadillac, my ass. That looks like a Ford piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> to me. Now I'm getting mad because the guy's knocking my car. He says, you need to shake this man's hand. I said, why? He just saved your life tonight. He said, when you jump the dog, he said, this, he said, I usually, this police officer tell me this, he said, I usually go walk you guys to the ring, and I go to the back and stand. But I wanted to see how this matched, because I was interested in this. So I stood at ringside. When you jump the dog, a guy stood up with a pistol, and I just happened to catch him pulling it out of his coat. And he said, I brought it, got him. My buddy helped me. We took him down, took it away. He sat right at ringside. He said, he'd have blew a hole in you that bit. <laughs> I go, man, you don't know how much I want to thank you. He, I was sitting, there was a bench right here, and I had my feet on it, and I was doing push-ups, and there was a box at the end of the bench. He come out of the ring, and he sat down there beside me, and I was doing push-ups, and he was just sitting there, and so I went down to do a set, and when I got up, his legs were sticking out of the box, <laughs> like he fell over right. in the box, you know? And I went, what in the hell? So I went over there, and I pulled him out, and he's like not breathing, man. He's like, I guess it, it he had the same operation I had. I talked to him about it later. It crushed his vertebrae when he fell, and it was it cut his air off. Yeah.